Welcome back everyone, Zeke Morgan here for another quick My Thoughts on Review. Today we're looking at 2014's Watch Dogs, which is an action-adventure video game developed and published by Ubisoft. It's set in a fictionalised version of Chicago and the story centres around Aidan Pierce, a grey hat hacker as he tries to find revenge after a failed assassination which ends up killing his niece. Watch Dogs is played from a third-person perspective in its vast open world which allows players to roam the urban city, suburbs, open countrysides and run-down neighbourhoods of Chicago can easily be navigated by boat, car, bike, rail and foot. Using the in-game hacking mechanic which is controlled by Aiden's smartphone, players are given a variety of choices from hacking jigsaw-like puzzles, hacking NPCs bank details, unlocking cars, hacking traffic lights, stopping trains, and even causing blackouts. This hacking mechanic also provides our players information about NPCs through little tidbits of pop-up dialogue, such as is a diabetic or is an avid game fan. The game's combat system utilizes limited stealth and parkour along with the standard mechanics of a covered based third person shooter. It allows players to use non lethal attacks to neutralize guards and provides numerous opportunities to distract or stealth past them. As you can see now, the game does offer a wide variety of weapons from pistols to assault rifles to grenade launchers, SMGs, and even sniper rifles, which really do come in handy if you're doing the criminal convoys section of it. And in poses a very nice upgrade system through skill trees. These are categorized by combat, driving, um, hacking, as well as crafted items, which all can come in handy throughout the game, as well as the many of the game's additional side quests that you can do. These range from standard playing chess in the park um, to longer ones such as human trafficking, um, weapon shipments, criminal convoys or even fixer contracts which are or can be a mixture of driving really fast or picking up cars, avoiding damage or just entertaining the cops. Watch Dogs also provides online multiplayer in which players can try out tailing, decryption and hacking as well as races and Watch Dogs received fairly positive reviews with people citing the game's hacking elements, mission variety and online modes as a very good plus. For example IGN rated it 8.4 out of 10 and Metacritic gave it 80 out of 100. This was followed by a sequel Watch Dogs 2 in November 2016 which we will go on to review a little bit later on in this channel. I thoroughly enjoyed this game and really would recommend you check now, even if it is just to try out that hacking element and um, the vast open world that is awarded by Watch Dogs and that you control with Aiden Pierce is absolutely fantastic. Nothing quite nothing quite beats making that long drive across the maps, various suburbs and sections and intervening in crime like a sort of a vigilante Batman. So there we have it. Uh, if you've played Watch Dogs 2, I would really like to hear about it, so please leave it in the comments section below. And of course, if you have any recommendations, also please let me know. I really do enjoy seeing your feedback. So of course, if you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to leave a like, comment, share and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.